What is up YouTube? I asked you which shoes I should compare next and the result was the Alter Torrin 6 versus the Alter Escalante 3. I bought the Escalante last summer with my own money, however the Torrin 6 was sent to me for testing and review. If you don't know who I am, hi I'm TD Miller, I'm a runner, I enjoy reviewing running gear. If you like what you see, how about you subscribe? But let's talk about the shoes first. The obvious first difference is of course the stack height with the Escalante coming in at 24 millimeters and the Torrent coming in at 28 millimeters. Despite the difference in stack height, I still think that both shoes offer a great ground feel. So with every step you take, you can still feel really well what you're stepping on. So every, every stone you walk on, every, every twig, I really like that feeling, that connection that you still have with the surface that you're running on. So despite the stack height difference, the Torrent does pretty well. The Escalante has the Alter Ego midsole and the Torrent has the Alter Max midsole. I personally prefer the Ego Max midsole. It is nice and cushioned, yet responsive. I find that the Ego midsole kind of wears out quite quickly. So after 200, 300 kilometers, they do start to feel a little flat. I prefer the tongue on the Escalante. It's a very basic and simple tongue, nice and padded. The Torrent 6, I don't like what they're doing. This padded here with a thin edge, it kind of like rubs up against the front of my ankle and I really don't like the way that feels. It doesn't cut into the ankle like in the Torrent 5, but it does get kind of get uncomfortable. What I really like about the Torrent 6 are the laces. They're nice and stretchy, so it's really easy to get a good tight fit. Whereas with the Escalante, they do stay nice and basic. If you compare the shape of the heel cup, you can see that the Torrent has more of a V shape and the Escalante has more of a U shape. In both shoes, I have a good heel lock, even though I do prefer shoes with more of a U shape. What is nice about the heel cup of the Torrent is that it's nice and padded up at the top and less down here. It's hard to see with the black fabric, but I really managed to get my feet in and it's kind of locked into place with the padding up here. Down here, there's no padding. And despite this odd heel flare, um, I do have like a little gap here when I'm running, but there's no friction whatsoever. There's no heel slippage. My heel does stay locked in pretty well. Looking at the back, you can see that the torrent does come up a lot higher, but it doesn't rub against my ankle whatsoever. Let me just take the insoles out because this is what you guys always want to see. And there is, if I line them up, there is very minimal difference. If anything, the Nias Glante is slightly more curved onto the inside, so more banana shaped. And if you compare the midfoot area and the heel, the Escalante is slightly wider. However, I should say it's very difficult to compare the width if you just compare the insoles. That is really just one part of the equation. It also really depends on the volume inside the shoe, how much give the upper has, if it's stretchy or not. So this is really just one part of the equation. As I said, the forefoot area is really very similar. If anything, the Escalante may be a a millimeter or so wider. But the main difference I can see is in the midfoot area. Let's talk about the upper. The upper of the Torrent is an engineered mesh, quite a basic running shoe material, nice and breathable, doesn't get too hot in there. Also in the colder months, your feet do stay nice and warm. With the Escalante, however, although I find the upper very comfortable, I really love this shoe and I really enjoy the upper as well. I've now decided to not run in them in the rain anymore. It just soaks up all the rain. It gets really wet and it really gets really heavy and uncomfortable. So I will not be running in them in, in the rain. In that regard, the Torrent 6 is a lot better when it comes to drying up during the run. I just forgot to add that the Torrent 6 is lighter than the Escalante 3. My size 10 comes at 263 for the Torrent 6 and 280 grams for the Escalante 3. So quite a significant difference if you ask me and I'm guessing that's probably because of the upper of the Escalante which is obviously a lot thicker material. Now back to where I was. So as I said talking about the insoles you can also see on the outsole that the Escalante is slightly more curved than the Torrent. You can see it's coming in quite a little bit more. The torrent as well a little bit, but not as noticeable. If I have like a close up, you can see quite some small stones end up in those small slits in the outsole. I don't notice them, but I know a lot of people don't like that. Whereas with the torrent, nothing gets stuck in those slits. So far I've done like 330 kilometers in the Escalante and only about 125 kilometers in the torrent six. And in my current road running shoe rotation, these two are my favorite. And I love combining them for all my runs together. If I could only choose two shoes to train in, these are the ones I would use. The Escalante would be my daily trainer, just something that I can have just some fun runs in, I can pick up the pace. And because it is more on the minimal side, I also feel that it's working my feet a lot more. So if you're not used to more minimal shoes, you might notice that your feet cramp up in them. My feet definitely cramped up at the beginning when running in them. But as the weeks progressed, I really noticed my feet were getting stronger and that's exactly what I love about them. 
When it comes to the Turin, they're my favorite shoe for when I want to go a little bit further, run a little bit further, and just an easy run, nothing to think about. Don't need to pick up the pace, just go out 20, 25 kilometers without needing to think what I'm wearing. And what I notice is when my feet start to swell up, it starts to rub on the lateral side of my foot. So around here, I can definitely feel like a hotspot coming up. I didn't have that problem with the Torrent 5. And if you were to say, choose one single shoe, I would always go for the Escalante. I love it. Even though the midsole does eventually get flat quite quickly, I will still continue to run in them. They are a fun pair of shoes. I would even run longer distance in them, but kind of know that my feet may cramp up. Just to get my feet stronger, I would use them definitely. I almost forgot to mention, I have them both in a size 10 and they fit true to size. If I missed anything in this video, how about you leave a comment down below? Or if you have any further questions, I'm happy to elaborate a little bit further in text. Or maybe I need to make a follow-up video. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.